Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to customize our user table so that we can have more options. For example, in the user table, we must have a biography, plus we have user type and we have user profile photo so that, that user can update their profile. Of course, we will do all of them with Ajax and we can upload photo with Ajax. So what we are going to do is customizing our table. Where we are going to display? Here is the manage. Under the manage, instead of the activity, I will have a manage user. Then we have some more menus so that we can add in the future. For now, let's um, just customize the table we have in the database. So I will open the migration. Here is the user table by default. So what I'm going to do is add some more fields. For instance, we have one type called type. Type means which type of user you have. Is this user? Is this author? Is this teacher? Is this a student? Is this anything? Like we, we will ha have to add a... Uh, some ACL to for our application like if you are a simple user you have limited access if you are a super admin you have full access if you are a teacher you might you might have um in middle like level access like that so here is the user type and by default if anyone register so you can write the default one here if anyone register and they do not write anything by default their type is going to be user so this is user and what else we need okay i duplicate the password again i am using some shortcut if if you don't know i just press ctrl shift d and if you press d it will select uh, it is going to work in visual studio code because in some video i forgot to say how i am going to use the shortcut if you press press alt and click down you can bring the the same line down or up so this is how it is going to work for the um, password of course we need some bio or biography it is going to be medium text medium text i hope this is correct and next up okay let's see this is going to be nullable nullable you know means user can't can leave it empty for now you don't need to like write the biography it should be nullable if you do not put the nullable you can user cannot put them as empty what else we need we need a profile so we need a string again so what i'm going to write here is let's say photo photo is going to be the photo of the user they are going to put again this one should not be nullable but you can put um, a default value for this one if user upload something so good if not we will just put a, a random let's say profile dot png something like that and then we can put the profile that png in our uh, public directory we can use them unless they just change their photo and then we can use that one for now this is enough but in future we will customize it more i mean in future i mean when we add uh, like uh, social media login if we add them we need some more field to store here for now it's fine i will just save it and re-migrate it so i'll open the command line here and say php artisan migrate if i migrate it will do nothing the reason is because we don't have any new table to migrate so what i'm going to do is migrate fresh it will delete everything and it will create everything from scratch you will lose your data i'm i'm sure that uh, you say you will lose your data what you do like if you have a lot of data this is in the beginning uh, but there are some best practices for you not to do this one mm because when you design your database it is like a tattoo in your hand once you do it like it is very hard to get rid of it so that's why you should uh, have your uh, structure of the table in the beginning uh, of course i will show you some best practices if you make a mistake how you are going to fix it maybe in the future for now this is fine i will just press fresh and it will delete everything and remigrate everything so again if i come here and uh, let's see, complete the, yeah it's complete and if I refresh the page, now you don't have any user, so it should redirect us to the login. Uh, okay, let's create another one. Now again, we will write admin, admin at me, and the password is login. Let's see. Yes, we are in the login page. So this is how the user table is going to be. So in the next video, I will show you how you can create a separate view component so that you can manage user all in a single component so see you in the next video